Hello and welcome, this is Christoph and today it's Halloween. Time to make you a little present and this present today is a guided tour extension for ClickSense. It works both on Click SaaS and on local Windows installations. What to do to get it? Well, first go to insight.databridge.com then you go to the marketplace Then you search for the guided tour extension. It might be the first one here. You may want to read more about it. Finally, click on download and grab it. You will receive a zip file that you can install on Click Cloud or on Click Sense for Windows. And in either case, you will then in any app uh, under custom objects extensions find the guided tour extension let me show you how it works when we add a new one to the space somewhere on the sheet it asks for two dimensions and here you can get some information it needs an object id and a text so how to get the object id what i mean is the id of the elements on the screen so extend your url with options developer and the help file you want to build can be anywhere it can be a text file it can be an excel it can be a table in a database so let's say object id and html to show prepare this in an excel and then i want to for example get help for this kpi object so i click on developer and note down this kpi and say blah 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 this is a kpi object blah 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 and you give some hint and you continue maybe here uh, another one right click on it get go to developers see the object id copy it paste it and off you go so with these two columns um, i have already prepared them in my uh, script in my case, I added one more column at the beginning called the tour ID because you know when you use this extension a couple of times for multiple sheets, each one has got its own tour. This makes three columns. So then you go here and say add an object ID as the first dimension, then add the text, which is the column HTML as the second dimension, and I'm already good to go next ha 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 next this is a good kpi object and a little reminder that this tool was sponsored by databridge well um that's not all um it gives me a warning here the sort order is not in load order i noticed that in order to get this into load order go to the first one and turn off the auto sorting because this would sort it alphabetically turn off those checkboxes and now it says load order and um, here are a few more settings for example um, you can select a specific tour and here i got the tour id field which i showed in the data model and select value one for it that means from now on and you see this not in edit mode but in analytics mode then when i click on it it selects the tour id and now it starts with the first KPI, second KPI, the table and the sequence is now correct. Um, there are a few more things to change. For example, you can change the background column. Let's say this is line. You can show or hide the, the icon and you might want to set a different text in the next section the tooltip colors here is the default background color if not assigned from a dimension so this could be for example dark red that means when you start now the tour the bubbles will appear in dark red and of course you can also get the color dynamically from a column remember the data model i showed you I introduced also a background color field and when you use this one you have to add another dimension here to say uh, the biggie column here is now 
a third dimension and in the settings below you would go to the colors and choose the BD color to be the dynamic color dimension here. Same you could do for the font color, we don't have it here. Uh, text for the next and done buttons you can change here. That means you can also put the formula and make uh, language specific next buttons if you wanted to. And now it shows in different colors coming from the data model. So of course you can add HTML with some rich text formattings, images, whatever helps you to point out the help text for the bubble. It auto arranges uh, the bubble on the screen. And also the tooltip width in pixels can be dynamic from the data. By adding another column like width, if it has a numeric value, let's say this needs to be 300 wide, 500 wide, just as an example. And when I add now another dimension to it, saying the width field. And in the extension settings under advanced settings, you can choose the width from the column width. And then this way you would get different widths. First one, second one is wider, the third one is very narrow and so on. Yes, that's it. That's the trick and treat from DataBridge for Halloween. I wish you a very nice evening and get lots of sweets. Bye bye.